Hey toy fans, I'm D21Beast and welcome back to my figure review series here on my YouTube channel. And today we're once again looking at that Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles toy line. We've got the Mix and Match Rocksteady figure released by Playmates in 2015. Now if you guys haven't seen my previous Mix and Match Ninja Turtle figures, they are a line very similar to the Hasbro Masher figures, where you can disassemble your figures at joints and reassemble them with other figures in the line. I've already done reviews of Michelangelo, Leonardo, and Metalhead, and this is my first villain from the toy line that I'm doing. So let's get things started by taking a look at the packaging for this figure. As you come down the front of this box, you do have the Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo in the upper left, and a show rendered version of a mix and match Leonardo in the upper right. You then have a blister bubble packaging that does have this Rocksteady figure inside, as well as his accessories. Towards the bottom, you do have the name of the figure line, Mutations, and then the name of the figure, Mix and Match Rocksteady, with a preview image of a mixed up Rocksteady off to the left. And flipping this package around, as you come down the back of the box, you do have that Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo in the upper left, as well as the Mutations toy line logo below it. To the right, you've got an image of Rocksteady mixed together with other figures in the line. Coming down this packaging, you have on the lower left an image of all the figures in this line mixed together. And then to the right, you have a list of all the figures currently available from this series. Alright guys, well that's the packaging. Let's say we get Mix and Match Rocksteady out of the box and see what he's all about. Alright toy fans, so here we have Mix and Match Rocksteady out of the packaging, and on first look this guy's gonna seem very familiar. And the reason for that is, he's very similar to the original basic figure Rocksteady that I reviewed last year. He's got a lot of the similar pieces here, they just kind of reformatted them at the joints to work with the Mix and Match line. This Mix and Match Rocksteady has ball joints now at the shoulder and at the hip. So actually in doing that, in kind of retrofitting the figure, they've given him more posability than the original Rocksteady figure that has an arm that just kind of moves forward and back and legs that have terrible joints that really don't let you pose them at all. So I'm very happy to see with this mix and match figure that they've gone the ball joint route and that's actually why I chose to pick up the Rocksteady figure. As I've said in my previous mix and match reviews, these mix and match figures can easily stand in for your basic figure line because of basically how they're painted and the scale that they're in. So now this Rocksteady figure you'll notice is a little bit taller, but that's also great for this figure because Rocksteady is a huge and imposing character. And I always felt like this little Rocksteady figure was a bit small anyway. So with that out of the way, let's take a look at the paintwork and sculpting on this figure. Um, his belt piece here is not a separate piece like it was on the original basic Rocksteady figure. It is actually molded onto the figure now, but I don't mind that so much. Uh, but the rest of the paint applications where he's got them are actually really nice and really clean. And we still have that great texturing for the rhino skin and even the really nice head sculpt for this figure. And I like the variation there with the uh, gold tooth. Um, the eyes, I think, look better on this Rocksteady figure than we saw on the original. But overall, a very great figure when it comes to paintwork and sculpting. I am not disappointed at all. Moving on to accessories, we can see that Rocksteady comes with the exact same pair of accessories that the basic figure came with last year. We have the hammer and sickle. Of course, he's Russian. What else would he come with, right? But uh, these accessories are actually a different color from what we got last year. Originally, the accessories were the same color as the figure's pants. Now, they're the same color as the figure's hands, and I don't like that. Once you get these accessories into the figure's hands, and it's about as tough as it was on the basic figure, the mix and match Rocksteady hands are a little bit larger, so it's not as tough as it was on the basic figure to get them in the hand, but once they're in there, they're the same color as the figure, and I don't think there's enough color separation with that accessory. It kind of blends into the figure. So I still like using my basic Rocksteady accessories on this newer figure. Once you get them in the hands, there you go, you see? There is a nice bit of color separation, and they don't blend in as well, and I think they're just a better accessory for the figure. So if you've got the old Rocksteady, go ahead and keep your old accessories with this new figure. Let's go ahead and talk about the mix and match feature of these figures. Now, Rocksteady actually came with the arm of Donatello to kind of give you a, a bonus piece, I guess, to start mixing and matching your Rocksteady figure. But if you remember from my previous mix and match reviews, I was actually disappointed that all of the figures in the line were coming with accessories for figures that were already in the line. That is to say, all of the villains were coming with pieces of Donatello, but he was already a figure in the line anyway. So if you get every figure in the line, not only will you have a Donatello, but you'll have a bunch of duplicate pieces, basically, for his limbs that you don't even need. I had suggested back during Wave 1 that they go ahead and change this with Wave 2 and maybe make Casey Jones um, the figure that comes packed in piece by piece with every other figure in the line. So if you buy all the figures in the Wave, you get a nice bonus Casey Jones figure and you're kind of rewarded for buying every figure in the line. Well, Playmates didn't do that. Casey Jones has now been added to the line as his own individual figure. And just like what we saw with the last wave, all of the villains now, Bebop and Rocksteady, are still coming with Donatello pieces. And I think Casey Jones actually comes with a piece of Metalhead. So you're still getting a bunch of duplicate pieces. But that small rant out of the way, this line is actually really fun. If you have other figures from this toy line, much like Marvel Super Hero Mashers, you can go ahead and separate them at the head joint, the shoulder joint, and the hip joint, and mix them with other figures in the line. Unlike the Marvel Super Hero Masters line, separating these figures and reattaching them at the joints is actually really easy. The ball and socket connectors are made with very soft plastic, so it's really easy to pull them apart and put them back together again. But once you get all these figures pulled apart and reassembled, 
you can make an infinite number of crazy combinations of either turtle heroes or villainous mutants. And of course, the more figures you've got from the line, the more options you're going to have to mix and match and create your own custom mutant hero. Height-wise, we can see that this Rocksteady figure does stand right about five and a half inches tall. For some size comparison, here he is once again compared to the basic Rocksteady figure that was released last year. Here he is compared to his cohort Bebop, also from the basic TMNT line. And I actually think the new height difference on these guys is perfect. Here he is compared to Shredder, one of the taller villains in the basic figure line. And finally, here he is compared to the 6 inch scale Marvel Legends Infinite Series Wolverine. Hey, been eating your vegetables, have you, bub? Duh, American. I'm Canadian, you hornhead. Alright, Toy fans, well, that's my review of the Mix and Match Rocksteady figure, part of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toy line released by Playmates in 2015. Overall, I think this is a really great figure. The short version is this. If you have the old Rocksteady figure, go ahead and get this figure to replace that. You'll be much happier with the improvements. He's a much larger figure. He looks imposing to your other turtle figures, and he looks great lined up with all your villains. If you're just getting into the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle toy line, and you don't yet have a Rocksteady in your collection, pick up the mix and match version. I think you'll be very happy, and I don't think you'll be missing out on anything that you got with the original Rocksteady figure, except for maybe where the accessories are concerned. I do feel like that original Rocksteady figure had better colored weapons and looked better with this mix and match Rocksteady figure once you have them displayed. Well, thanks for watching this review, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like what you saw here, please feel free to rate, share, subscribe. Also, be sure to hit me up on Twitter and Instagram at D21Beast. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.